the message from my heart would be, be kind. There's always room for kindness. It's unusual in an emergency where everybody can make a difference. We're all on this team, everybody together. And so we're really appealing to all of the people of Salmon Arm and all of the people of Shushwap to do your part. And if we do, we will get through this. Well, first of all, thank you for the opportunity to talk with you and spread the word. Um, here in Salmon Arm, I think most people are observing all of the social guidelines that have been outlined. When my wife and I go walking, we see everyone walking far around each other. The message is, be sure that you are walking with people who live in your house only, so that uh, we do not spread the virus. Businesses, I think, are doing their part, which uh, really is making sure they have a really clean workplace, sanitizing all the time, ensuring social distancing through tape on the floor, making sure people aren't uh, close to one another. And so that's really much appreciated. You know, the short-term effects are quite apparent. We have had to close a lot of facilities in the city, playgrounds, and I have to say the residents have been very understanding. We are looking at uh, economic situation here because we know there's a big spin-off. Many of our stores are closed and we understand that. Council is now looking at ways that we can help. I think there's going to be long-term ramifications um, because we're learning so much from what's happening. I do think, however, that um, we will get back to uh, um, living in a place that's uh, vibrant and moving and, you know, I think we believe we live in the best place in the world here. Although it's wonderfully beautiful and natural and lots of outdoor things, the absolutely best thing about it is the people that live here. Hi. They are dynamic, they're innovative, they're positive, they're forward-looking, and those things especially you need at a time like this. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.